Hello, now I'm making this video because uh, one of my students asked me how to use Kramer's rule so I thought I might as well just uh, make a video and post it on YouTube uh, perhaps it might be useful to some of you okay now um, what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to write in the coefficient for every unknown here which means this x will be 1x 1x 1y 1z and 1x now to apply Kramer's rule, I need to uh, convert this into a 3x3 three three matrix. So which means I'm going to remove all the x and y's and z's and just leave behind the numbers. So for the first row, I've got 1, negative 3 and 7. So which means that's um, 1, negative 3, 7. The second row, I've got 1, 1 and 1. The third row is 1, negative 2, and 3. Okay, now we need to find the determinant. Now to do this, I'm going to use the shortcut. So I'm going to copy back the first and second row on the right-hand side here. So I've got 1, 1, 1, negative 3, 1, and negative 2. Now applying the shortcut simply means I need to multiply the numbers diagonally this way. 1 times 1 times 3, that gives us 3. Negative one, uh, negative three times one times one. That's negative three. Seven times one times negative two. That's negative fourteen. Let's find the sum for that. So three plus negative three plus negative fourteen equals negative fourteen. Now the other direction. One times one times seven gives seven. All right. Negative two times one times one gives us negative two. 3 times 1 times negative 3, that's negative 9. So we need to find the sum for these numbers here. 7 plus negative 2 plus negative 9, that gives us negative 4. Now the determinant is obtained by taking negative 14 minus negative 4. So that's basically this number here. Multi uh, subtract with that number over there, that gives us negative 10. Okay. This determinant will be used because we need to use it to find x, y, and z. And before that, uh, I also need to make known that the numbers here on the right hand side, 13, 1, and 4, I'm going to replace them here. Which means we are going to remove these this column of numbers, 1, 1, 1, and replace them with 13, 1, and 4 in order to find x, after which the next column here to find y and the last column here to find z okay so let's begin by finding the value of x so to find the value of x i have the determinant which is negative 10 but as i said we need to replace this column here which means instead of 1 1 1 i'm going to write 13 1 and 4 so that's 13 1 and 4 okay the second and third column would remain the same which means the second column i've got negative 3 1 negative 2 so negative 3 1 negative 2 and the last column i've got 7 1 3 so that's 7 1 and 3 now again the objective here is to find the determinant but for this set of values which means again i'm going to uh, go back to using the shortcut so that's 13 1 4 negative 3, 1, and negative 2. And likewise, I'm going to multiply the numbers diagonally. So 13 times 1 times 3, that gives 39. Uh, negative 3 times 1 times 4, that's negative 12. 7 times 1 times negative 2 is negative 14. Okay, so the total here, 39 plus negative 12 plus negative 14, that gives 13. Okay, equal to 13 um, the other way 4 times 1 times 7 is 28 negative 2 times 1 times 13 that's negative 26 3 times 1 times negative 3 that's negative 9 and once again the sum here so 28 plus with negative 26 plus with negative 9 gives negative 7 okay so the determinant here will then be 13 minus negative 7 so we get this to be equal to 20 so what this means is that the numerator number is 20 over the denominator number is negative 10, which means x value is equal to negative 2. That is done.
All right, so now to find the value of y. So to find the value of y, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be replacing this middle column here with 13, 1, and 4, and the left and right columns would maintain the same, which means I'm not going to write negative 3, 1, and negative 2. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next page. Okay, so what I mean is this, right? So which means now to find y, the determinant from the original is still negative 10. That goes to the bottom. Uh, the numbers here would then read like this. So that's 1, 1, 1, 13, 1, 4, and then 7, 1, 3. Okay? Notice how I've replaced the column in the middle here with 13, 1, and 4. Okay? And I'm going to apply a shortcut, so which means 1, 1, 1. Yeah, first column, repeat that. Second column, 13, 1, and 4. And we are going to multiply the numbers diagonally. So 1 times 1 times 3, that's 3. 13 times 1 times 1, that's 13. 7 times 1 times 4, that's 28. Okay, now across the other way, 1 times 1 times 7, that's 7. 4 times 1 times 1, that's 4. 3 times 1 times 13, that's 39. Don't forget, we need the sum for both numbers here. So 3 plus 13 plus 28 gives uh, 44. Okay, 7 plus 4 plus 39 gives 50. So which means the determinant here will then be 44 minus 50, which means that gives us negative 6. Okay, so what this means is that the denominator is still negative 10, numerator is negative 6. Simplifying that, we get y to be 3 over 5. Okay, so y is done. And now to find z. Okay, to find z, I'm now going to replace this third column here with 13, 1, and 4, whereas the first two columns on the left would remain the same. Okay, so what I mean is this. z will now be, again remember, the original denominator is negative 10. The number that we take on top here, first column remain the same, so that's 1, 1, 1. Second column is negative 3, 1, negative 2. But the last column now has been replaced with 13, 1, and 4. So do you see that basically we change or we just replace the column in order, which means first we replace this column, second would be the column in the middle, and finally it will be the third column here, which is replaced with 13, 1, and 4. All right. So now, coming back to what we have here, applying the shortcut once again, I'm going to repeat the first two columns, which means 1, 1, 1, negative 3, 1, negative 2, same method, multiply diagonally, so 1 times 1 times 4, that's 4, negative 3 times 1 times 1, that's negative 3, 13 times 1 times negative 2 gives negative 26, Let's find the sum of that. So 4 plus negative 3 plus negative 26 is negative 25. Okay. Um, the other way, 1 times 1 times 13 is 13. Negative 2 times 1 times 1 is negative 2. 4 times 1 times negative 3 gives negative 12. Okay. So the sum for these numbers here, 13 plus negative 2 plus negative 12 gives us negative 1. Yes, the determinant will be negative 25 minus negative 1. That gives us negative 24. So basically, it means I now have negative 10 in the denominator and negative 24 on top, simplifying which will give us 12 over 5. There you go. So, well, I guess what's important here is to understand how we uh, find the determinant for the uh, numerator and the original determinant, which will be the uh, denominator, and we can find x, y, and z. Okay? So I hope this video was helpful for you guys as well. Um, and uh, please practice more with your math, and it should be no problem. Alright, until next time then, ta-ta, bye-bye.